CJ's Jolly preset heaters are simplistic, compact, unbreakable little heaters with a two-year warranty, dry run, and overheating protection. And while they might not be powerful enough for your average reef tank, I do think the average reefer can make great use out of one of these, but I'm gonna get into that in just a bit. Inside of the box, you'll have the Jolly preset heater, suction cups, a protective cord wrap, a quality control card, as well as the manual, and funny enough, a couple of stickers to help hide the Jolly in a freshwater environment. The Jolly heaters are currently available in three models, a 6 watt, 12 watt, and 22 watt rated to be able to heat a volume of 1.6 gallons, 3.2 gallons, and 6.6 .6 gallons of water respectively up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit from room temperature, which is typically 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. They are designed to essentially stay on and continuously heat the water to maintain that 77 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, which means the little indicator light will rarely, if ever, turn off. That being said, they do have a small internal switch that acts as a shutoff if the heater goes above 77 degrees Fahrenheit, whether that's submerged or if you accidentally left it plugged in and out of the water. Once they come back down below that 77 degrees Fahrenheit mark, they will automatically start heating again. In fact, this one right here has been plugged in this whole time. Have you noticed the little red light was on earlier? It's actually shut off because it did get past that 77 degree temperature and it is quite warm to the touch, probably about, I don't know, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I obviously don't recommend doing this. Don't leave it plugged in and out. I simply did it to demonstrate that it does work. A small preset heater like this one does have a few things going for it. First off, you don't need to worry about adjusting the temperature of the heater because that's already done for you. It also means you don't need to calibrate or recalibrate it because it doesn't have a traditional thermostat that can lose calibration. Because they lack a thermostat, they also tend to be much more compact and less expensive. In the case of these Jolly preset heaters, they're also made from, and I quote, virtually unbreakable plastic rather than glass, so they are gonna be a more rugged option than an inexpensive glass heater. This actually makes them a really great option for a few different uses. Firstly, if you do water changes using a three to seven gallon bucket, these little heaters are a fantastic option for preheating your salt water to 77 degrees Fahrenheit before doing a water change. You can just drop them in the bucket, not worry about whether or not the dial got bumped and changed the temperature, or if the mixing pump is gonna blow the heater around and bounce it into the wall of the bucket or off the pump itself. Another great use for a small heater like this is for the back of an all-in-one Pico tank where real estate in that back filtration section is at a premium. The compact size really helps to leave more room for other equipment and not requiring any adjustments or calibration means you can tuck it wherever you like back there without having to worry about accessibility. Lastly, for the exact same reasons, if you're one of those few out there who like to set up tiny reef bowls, these tiny heaters are easy to hide in behind your aquascape so you won't have to see them. Now, if you are gonna be using a Jolly heater in your reef aquarium, I do always recommend that any heater is also given a layer of redundancy by using it in conjunction with a heater controller just in case the heater ever fails. This way you have a line of defense that can take action if the heater fails on, and in most cases also notify you with an audible alarm or even via push notifications to your smartphone if the temperature falls outside of that optimal range. A great example that's affordable is the Inkbird Wi-Fi heater controller, and if you'd like to have a look at one, you can check out that video right here.